Fans of the popular HGTV show Fixer Upper know him as the woodworker who works his magic with reclaimed and recycled wood. Clint Harp joins us right now with some easy DIY projects we can make at home. Clint, we welcome you to the show in to Nashville. I think folks who watch Fixer Upper always look forward to see what you will make out of what Joanna Gaines has envisioned. How did you personally get into woodworking? Well, first of all, Leland, thanks for having me. Uh, it's uh, good to talk to you. Um, uh, I'm, a, I'm originally an Atlanta, Atlanta guy, so uh, Nashville is uh, close to home for me. So awesome. it's good to talk to you today. Um, you know, I, uh, back in 2011, uh, I quit a job in corporate sales and uh, jumped into my garage with this idea that my wife and I could start this company, Harp Design Co., and make furniture and home goods uh, that would hopefully fill people's houses uh, across the country. But, you know, we just figured we'd start there in our local community. At the time, we were living in Houston, Texas. And, uh, and you know, we just went for this dream that we had. And uh, we wanted to make things that, that meant a lot to us. And the next thing you know, uh, we moved to Waco, Texas. I meet a guy at a gas station. And nine months later, I'm filming a pilot for HGTV. So <laughs> it was kind of a, a wild and crazy adventure. And it still is. Uh, but I'm happy to be on it, and uh, it's, a, it's a fun and exciting thing. All right, so for folks who may be inspired by you and they want to get into woodworking, what tips, what projects would you suggest for someone brand new to it? Well, I mean, first of all, you know, uh, it, it, you know, there's a fear within all of us of, like, what it might look like to go out and create something uh, and, you know, we might look stupid. Maybe what we told everybody we were going to go make doesn't look like the way, you know, we wanted it to look. And I say you got to get past that fear. Who cares what other people think? Go out and try something. Um, and, you know, you don't want to make it too complicated in the beginning. Um, I think you start simple. Um, and, you know, uh, I'm teaming up with Dremel uh, Tools uh, to push this mission to make. And that's the whole idea behind why I'm here today is to try and encourage other people to get out into their shops and make things. There's a maker movement all across this country where people are going into their shops, getting back to their roots and making things. And Dremel makes a bunch of tools uh, that allow people to get into their shops and do some fun, creative things. The other day, um, I made some planter boxes. Really, really simple. This is literally five small pieces of wood. Um, it's got a bottom and four sides, okay? I mean, anybody could get into their shop and make this. It's not hard. Uh, you know, glued and stapled together, and I grabbed a, uh, the Dremel engraver, and I engraved oregano on the front, and, uh, and you know, uh, made a, a personalized um, uh, herb garden for my wife. Oh, awesome. um, so, you know, super simple project that honestly doesn't take a lot of skill. It just takes the desire to get out there and make it. All right. What should be and I'm not handy at all. Our former chief meteorologist Ron House is a fantastic woodworker, uh, has made great things, furniture for his <laughs> kids and grandkids. I, I'm not handy at all. Sure. What would be the very first tool I should look into? Well, look, I mean, you need uh, when you're when you're talking about working with wood, you're going to have to cut things. And so. Um, of course, you can go out and get big table saws and all that stuff, but I, I think starting simple uh, is a great way to do it. Um, you know, uh, Dremel, who I've teamed up with, makes, uh, of course, their bread and butter, the rotary tool. Uh, they make a, uh, a saw max and uh, the engraver, like I talked about, and then like a, a more uh, kind of a general like utility tool that allows you just to cut and do all kinds of things. Um, one of the first things I did was I, I, I uh, refinished a piece of furniture uh, for a friend of mine way back probably 10 years ago and I had to sand some bits in there that were really hard to get to and I needed an incredibly versatile tool to do that with you know something that could really be precise and get in there well I got that was when I got my first Dremel rotary tool and that's exactly what it is I mean it's incredibly precise and and versatile and allowed me to get in there and really kind of sand that thing down perfectly so I could go back and stain it and finish it for my table or for my friend just the way I wanted to do it and uh, so, you know, I'd say start small uh, okay. and then as you build and, and keep doing these projects, if the next thing you want to do is go out and buy a table saw and a planer and a lathe and all that fun stuff, I say go for it, you know, <laughs> uh, but, well, you know, think big, act small, as they say. Fantastic. Well, thank you for being with us today. Congrats on your new show that's starting next month. But thank you so very much for being with us today. Hey, Leland, thank you so much. I appreciate you having me. So go to newschannel5.com and find out more about Mission to Make.